usually full of people like you see now taking pictures and such but this is what you are rewarded with when you get to the top of Loveland Pass beautiful views you can climb up this side look down and see a basin ski area but yeah guys just wanted to share this with you Colorado by motorcycle I think I'm gonna like this series Loveland Pass as you see I slowed it down a little bit uh, I'm gonna put this on the front end and then we will uh, enjoy the ride up after but just wanted to share it with you beautiful Colorado look at this day not a cloud in the freaking sky beautiful all right guys hope you enjoy the video let's do Loveland Pass by motorcycle enjoy All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching the exit to Loveland Pass. You can see part of the Loveland ski area to my front. Uh, Loveland ski area's got a pretty good ski area, but we're going to hit Loveland Pass. It did, I did pass a sign that said something about traffic holds on the pass. It's a pretty good road. Um, if you want to go over the backside of Loveland Pass, you get to, that's how you get to A Basin, Keystone ski areas, and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, once again, beautiful day in Colorado beautiful time to be riding a motorcycle it's 63 degrees I'm sure the temps will drop as we get higher in elevation I'll just show you the Loveland ski area here as we get closer and then we will have no music no distractions and we'll just enjoy the ride up probably one of the most famous I guess close to Denver passes that there is Loveland Pass here is the Loveland ski area four miles to the summit should not take us that long at all obviously the lifts aren't turning Loveland is a great ski area very local very local all right ladies and gentlemen I give you Loveland Pass
And that was easy. We have arrived, ladies and gentlemen, the top of Loveland Pass, 11,990 feet. Continental Divide.